You must be Chris. You must be Richard. How are you? Good, how are you? Thanks for coming. Glad to be here. This looks like a typical 50s ranch. Certainly is. Me, my fiance bought it about a year ago. Great. We have a project for you in the bathroom. You want to join me? Great. Always the bathroom or the basement. All right. Nice, nice new tile floor they put in. Beautiful. You guys do it yourself? Mm-hmm. Awesome. All grouted. Nice. Over here in the pink tub Look from the at 1950s. This. You know, this. you think this is pink, but actually, you know what they called it back then? They called it Bermuda Coral. Oh. It sounded a lot better than pink, I guess. Yeah. All right, so what do you got? So the screen broke. The screw that holds it in sheared. Okay. And the overflow doesn't hold water. And it's a little gunked up down there, too. Mm -hmm. All right, so this thing is actually called the Bath Waste and Overflow, and it is really secretly, quietly, one of the most important safety devices in your entire house plumbing-wise because it's got this overflow right here. Now, for the obvious reason, if you were filling the tub and you forgot about it, you, you wouldn't want it to overflow. But much more commonly, you fill the tub and then you get in it and people displace all that water. And without the overflow, it could come right down to the floors below. All right, so let me look down below and see what we have for access. And I think we can change this out. Great. All right, well, I love your basement. Thank you, so what's the prognosis? All right, we are underneath your bathtub. You can see right here, here's the thing called the bath shoe. That's where that screen is that's broken. All right. Here's the T, there's the overflow, comes down into mm -hmm. a trap. You can see the trap, the drain goes this way. You've got wide open access, we can get at all parts of it. So it means we can change out the whole unit if we choose to. Great. So I brought you some choices here. This is the unit you've got right here. There's that bath shoe. All right. You can see here's the new screen right here. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to pull this apart. All right. What you don't see inside of any bath waste is a thing called this trip lever. Right here, let me just pull this apart. Okay, look at this long linkage. See, the, see that little piston right there? Cool. All we're trying to do with this little trip right here is to make this piston... Look right in there. Do you see how it, it just blocks the water? Mm -hmm. And if I lift this up, you see how it opens it? Yep. So that's how the water goes up and out. So we just have to adjust this linkage. Okay, and then this is that overflow I was talking about. Mm -hmm. It's designed with an opening intentionally so that that water will come up and down through that overflow. Great. All right, so this is the standard one. This is one I've used forever. Mm -hmm. We can just replace this right here. I, I did want to introduce a new offering in the marketplace recently is this. This one is all made out of plastic and PVC, so it's really good for new work. Mm -hmm. uh, and it can all be glued together so there's no compression connections underneath. It's got your overflow, mm -hmm. but it's got a little different mechanism. It doesn't have the trip. It has a thing called a toe touch. Oh. Okay, so that there'd be no screen, but it would mean that the water would stop or open this way. Okay? Oh, great. So this is that. And what they actually have now is this. If we didn't have this kind of access right here, mm -hmm. and we just wanted to fix the stopper, this is made to replace this top part of the shoe. Huh. So it would come down like this, and this is what you'd see from above. And so in a retrofit, we could fix the drain portion of this thing. But it okay. would mean that this would be left as an obsolete thing, which would be confusing. Mm -hmm. I think as a pro, I, I will just change this whole thing out with your help. Sounds good. All right, so you're gonna start by going upstairs. There's two screws that are on this plate right here. All right. Why don't you unscrew them and I'll start working down here. Sounds good. Got one out. Okay. They're both out? Both out. We want to get the bath shoe unscrewed. Look down in there and just see if we can go counterclockwise, and I want you to see if it'll spin. This thing is seized in there. That's okay. I'm coming up. All right, so it's not giving in, huh? Really seized in there. All right, let me jump in there, okay? It is not unusual. That thing's been in there for, what, 70 years at least. It's about. So time for some reinforcements. Now, they make a special right here that I could expand to try and squeeze on the inside, but I don't think that's going to even do it. So I'm going to use these heavy irons. That's going to let me come down in here. And now, with a wrench, try to transfer my effort to spin. Nope. 
All right, so this is the real life of retrofit and old work plumbing. <laughs> so one thing I can do is because I got access below it, I could take a reciprocating saw and I can cut this piece out from below. So we're not done yet. All right. Overflow. All right, Chris, I'm going to I'm going to give it a little pop and it'll come to you and then after that clean it up so we can get rid of the all the old putty, okay? All right. Sounds good. Got it. Okay. Clean up the old putty and then we'll uh, put the new work in. All right. So this is adjustable, so I'm just going to make these nuts up loosely. You can see there's a compression gasket and a nut. All right, Chris, you still up there? Yep. All right, you've got two jobs. One is to put some putty onto that spud that's going to come down into the bath shoe. All right. Should be putty right next to you. Yep. I'm going to hold this up in place, and you're going to try to catch this thread into the bath shoe. Okay, great. Hold that. Push it down a little bit. All right, I have a gasket I've got to put on. And then I'm going to hold this up in place. Now, I'm going, to, I'm going to push it up a little bit, and I want you to try to catch the threads. Spin the threads as you can. You feel it. Is it going okay? It's going smooth now. Great. All right, switching to the uh, wrench. All right, I'm going to hand this overflow to you, All and right. I want you to catch the two screws. Okay. Let's try, see what we have for length. This thing's adjustable to, for different tubs. How's that? Right there. Hold on one second. All right, the time for the test. Now, I adjusted that linkage before we put it back in for that deeper tub, and it seems to be holding fine, but if it doesn't, you saw that linkage, you can yep. just untie that. All right, homeowners always get the, the Great. Uh, honors. Perfect. Awesome, it's holding. There it is. Perfect. You are ready to take a bath in your Bermuda coral bathtub. Awesome. <laughs> Enjoy. Thanks. Thanks, my friend. Have a good one. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.